guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. So, forgive the bookshelves, they're a little messy, um, because last Friday I went to my first ever book signing and it was amazing, so I was that person who brought all my books from home, because, I mean, I already had the books, so why was I going to buy them again? Is that terrible? I, I mean, I don't think so. They told us to bring what we wanted, so... I did. The event that I went to was called Signings and Selfies featuring 15 Christian fiction authors and this was the signing on Friday night that happened um, kind of finishing up a Fiction Readers Summit and they met in R Grand Rapids, Michigan. That's where they were doing it and it was held, the signing was held at Baker House Books. I have wanted to go to that bookstore since I heard about it. They always have amazing deals, and I've gotten a ton of books from their website. But, I'm like, it's in Michigan. It's only a couple hours away. But then, there was a book signing, and I, like, freaked out because I knew a couple of the authors, and I've been wanting to meet some of these authors. So, I talked a lovely friend of mine into driving and going with me, and it was just an amazing time. For my first signing, it was wonderful. I met so many amazing authors. So today's video I'm going to be talking about meeting those authors, my experience going, and then showing you what books I got signed, who I met, and what books I bought while I was there because I did end up picking a couple books up from the bookstore itself. Fifteen authors who were there were, let me get my list because I'm not going to remember all of them, uh, Colleen Coble was there, Lynn Austin, Danny Petrie, Kelly Stewart, Rachel McMillan, Joanna Politano, I think that's how you say her last name, Tracy Groot, um, Jody Hedlund, Misu Andrews, Sharon Garlow Brown, Susie Finkbeiner, Jamie Jo Wright, Jocelyn Green, Allison Pittman, and Bethany Turner. I was really excited. There's a couple that I've never heard of and I didn't end up meeting because I didn't have their books. Um, so I, I don't even know what they write. I was really, really excited um, to meet Bethany Turner, Jocelyn Green, Jamie Jo Wright, Misu Andrews, Jodie Hedlund, uh, Rachel McMillan, Danny Petri, uh, Lynn Austin, and Colin Coble. Those were the ones that I really, really, really wanted to meet. Um, and I had books by all but Danny Petri. So I wanted to get them signed. Very excited to meet them. And... Uh, another author asked me on Instagram who we found out that we were both going and she was asking me who I was most excited to meet and I was most excited to meet Jamie Jo Wright um, she is the author of The House on Foster Hill I've talked about it endless times it's a wonderful book her second book comes out in July I believe the cover is gorgeous for the next book um, but she ran, when this book came out, she ran a, like, promotional type thing that the first person from each state would get some, like, a, a signed book plate and some bookmarks, I believe is what she ended up sending. So, I was the first in Indiana to get the book, so I got a signed book plate and I put it in here, but I went up to and I said, um... So technically my book is already signed, but I would love to have it personalized and love to have her actual signature. So she signed it, and she said to my first in Indiana, Jamie Jo, and she put her little coffee, that lady in coffee, it's great. Um, I said later on, I was telling people that every witty conversation, anything I could have said, flew out of my mind as soon as I saw her. I was so excited. And then after I thought of all these conversation starters that I totally could have used... So I was kind of bummed, but next time I'll have to talk her ear off or something. She was great. She was so sweet. And I just, I had so many things I totally could have said. I was so bummed. But next time. <laughs> they kind of had it set up with like small tables. And like they had blinds across the entire building. Like that's how it was set up. So the authors were there. And I said it kind of reminded me of like speed dating like you see in like the Hallmark movies. Where the authors were there and like people were coming. They talked to them for a couple minutes and like then you'd move on to the next one kind of thing. It was just like a, it flowed, it was beautiful, it was really comfortable. 
Um, but the first one when you walked in, Rachel McMillan was standing there, and she is the author of The Bachelor Girl's Guide to Murder uh, and the Herringford and Watts Mysteries. I've had this, I have this book. I have not been able to read it yet, but there's like an entire series, and I want them all, and I saw them later on in the bookstore, and I just want them all. They're so beautiful, and they're kind of small, and they're great, and Rachel actually has a book coming out in... A couple months too I believe most of them have more books coming out within the next couple months um, but it's starting a new series and I'm very very excited to read that I'm so excited that I have it signed and I was able to meet her she is so amazingly sweet and she's Canadian I love listening to how she said a couple of her words it was so awesome that she was able to make the trip to Michigan to the States to come to the signing and come to the retreat but it was amazing to meet her she is a absolute doll after Rachel I Jocelyn Green was right next to her and she is the author of the mark of the king and a, a refuge assured I believe uh, I do not own a refuge assured it's not really my genre wheelhouse um, I have not read this book yet but I knew she was gonna be there and I was like well I have it like, I haven't read a couple of these books, like, but I have them, so why not go and get them signed? So, she signed this for me, and again, she was another one. It's the first time I had been to a book signing. I wasn't at a loss for words with Rachel. I mean, I kind of was. My friend was the one, like, speaking out for me. I was just, like, kind of struggling, because, again, I didn't know what I was doing. Super awkward anyways. Not really good in social settings. But I totally could have said so many other things to Jocelyn, and I didn't get a picture with her because there, somebody came up right behind me and just kind of like cut in and like started talking to her. And I wasn't going to interrupt what she was saying to ask for a picture. So by the time I got done with stuff, I she was I think she had already left, so I didn't get to get a picture with her, and I was kind of bummed because I really wanted to. But, again, there's always next time. She was super sweet, too. Um, I just, my biggest regret was not talking and, like, being timid. So, just know if you go to book signings, don't be timid. These authors love you. Once you start talking to them, they're, they're humans just as much as we are. I wanted to go to Jodi Hedlund, but she had a line the entire night. Like, it was almost across the building like touching other authors tables. It was crazy. So I went over to Bethany Turner and she's the author of The Secret Life of Sarah Hollenbeck and she signed it for me and we were laughing while she was signing because she accidentally like did a really big I think an eye or something like that when she signed it and she signed a sharpie so like it was evident she's like trying to correct it and I was laughing and we were talking about just spelling stuff wrong and then um, my friend again, I was waiting to meet Colleen Coble, and we were standing there, and Colleen Coble had a line as well, but my friend said something to Bethany that I'm a blogger. She's like, oh, what's your blog? And I said, for the love of Christian fiction, and she's like, I follow you, like, I keep up with you. And I was, like, freaking out, like, you know, that moment of, oh my word, like, she reads my stuff, and so we started talking about that, and then I was saying that in one of my videos, I compared this book to The Theory of Happily Ever After by Kristen Billerbeck. Like the the fonts, the colors, and now that I'm reading The Theory of Happily Ever After, a lot of the, like, the styles kind of remind me of each other. And she like freaked out and she's like, you compared my book like, oh my word, I love you, you're my best friend now. And we're just kind of laughing and stuff and she's so sweet. So I talked to her for a while and again, she just really encouraged me about my blogging and like keeping this stuff up. Because as a smaller blogger and a smaller booktuber and stuff, it gets discouraging. And, like, I understand it takes time to build up a following and stuff. But I was just so thankful to her for encouraging me and talking to me and reminding me that, like, it might take some time, but God will give me the words. And I know he will. And he's opened so many doors. And it's just so amazing. But it was so amazing to meet her and she's the sweetest and I absolutely adored her and cannot wait to see what else she brings to the table. Danny Petri was there and I got some amazing news a couple weeks ago and I'm actually on her team for Dead Drift which is book four in the Chesapeake Valor series. Little thing I haven't read um, her books they've been on my 
like super TBR, but I haven't been able to get my hands on anything. Um, so I didn't have a book for her to sign, but I went up to her and introduced myself, let her know that I'm on her team, and she was just so amazing. We were talking for a couple minutes, and I'm just so honored to work with her. I know that I'll love it. I know what her writing style's like. Um, I've seen some of her work. I just haven't had time to like sit and read it all. Does that make sense? Um, so I didn't have a book for her to sign, which is kind of a bummer, but I was able to talk to her. So my friend and I got there late because from where I am in Indiana to Grand Rapids, Michigan, um, it there's a time change that we totally forgot about. And thank God we left when we my house when we did, or we would have been even later. We were about 35 minutes late. So it was already like this massive crush of people, like it was just buzzing. And I wanted to get right in and get my book signed, because um, I didn't know like what it was going to be. But the time flew by, it was from 7 to 9. And so I wanted to shop, but I wanted to shop like towards the end and get a couple things signed because there was two authors that I didn't have their books and I knew them and I knew I wanted their books but I didn't get a time to run out so by the time that I got to go shopping she had already left and I was kind of sad or at least she had closed down I don't I didn't see her again I'm gonna show the books that I got at the end but I just wanted to point out that I met her I didn't have one of her books I got one afterwards but I didn't get a sign because she left but I introduced myself. She was amazing. She was so sweet. Oh, I, again, I'm just so honored to work with her. I cannot wait. Casey so Andrews did not have a line. Colin Coble still did. So I went and scurried my little tush over there to see her. And oh my word. I loved her so much. Um, we started talking and we... I don't know what time we started talking, but no joke, by the, by the time we were done, I turned around and like everybody was gone. It was 8.45 and there were only a couple people left and it was like all authors kind of talking to each other and I still had people to like to get my book signed. Went over there and we were talking forever and it was just so amazing to listen to her. So we were talking and I have Love Sacred Song by Missy Andrews. Uh, she's the author of this. She's the author of Love Amid the Ashes, of Miriam, Isaiah's Daughter. Like she has a ton of books. Um, but she was just kind of giving me the background of the story and she just used it to turn around and encourage me. Um, so it was just, it was so amazing to talk to her. She's so sweet, down to earth. Uh, I absolutely loved her. I was kind of intimidated to meet her just because I've read Love Amid the Ashes. That's the only book I've read by her, but loved it, like blew through it. Um, but I don't know. I have this idea that like biblical fiction people are kind of intimidating, older authors are kind of intimidating, but she was so amazingly sweet. I absolutely loved her and I cannot wait to meet her again and have the rest of her books and paperbacks so that I can get them signed and just talk to her again because she was so amazing. I, she just like, she reminded me, of, she was very grandmothery like she just had that she cares for you this love and it was just so amazing and uh, I loved her and that's all I can say she was amazing I loved her I saw Lynn Austin was there as well and I have where we belong by her so I went over and I asked her to sign my book um my grandma loves Lynn Austin uh, I have still not read anything by her but I've heard amazing things I follow the blog Inspired by Life and Fiction. I'll link it down below because it is amazing. Uh, quite a, a few of these authors um, write for this blog. And I love seeing her writing style, like seeing her day-to-day -day life. She was really sweet, um, kind of quiet. Again, I didn't really have much to say to her because I haven't read anything of, like, any of her work. Um, but we talked about somewhere that she was recently for a conference. And we talked about that for a couple minutes. Um... So again, I was a little awkward around her just because I haven't read her work. And again, something about the older authors who have been writing for a long time kind of intimidate me. I was very excited to meet her and I was super thrilled that she signed my book for me. I knew a an author friend of mine was going to be there. Um, I have actually read and reviewed her book. I believe she was the first book I ever reviewed. Like she was the first paperback copy anybody had ever sent to me 
and I think she's one of my first reviews on my blog. Um, and that was Gina Holder, and she is the author of Whither Shall It Go? I talked about this book. It was a beautiful book, but I knew she was going to be there. Um, so I figured I'm going to bring my copy of my book and see if she'll sign it for me. Um, I figured it would make her feel good as well as, hello, if I have a book, I want it signed. So I brought it. I found her. I said hi and we talked for a little bit and she signed my book for me. We got some pictures together and it was just so amazing to meet an, an indie publisher and an indie author in person and to get my book signed by her and just to see her face light up when you realize like this is her work and like a, a reader has asked for her signature. I'm sure it's like that for all authors but this was her debut novel and you know it's not traditionally published so not a ton of people know about it she's trying to get word out about it still but I'm sure the elation of just being known because I know how it made me feel when Bethany Turner said that she's read my blog um so I was just very excited to get it and talk to her it was very sweet she's a super amazingly sweet lady and I loved working with her and reading her novel after talking to me to Andrews later on in the night I turned around it was 8 45 and everybody's gone but that meant that Jody Hedlund's line was empty so I had a couple books by Jody that I got signed but in the process of her signing them um Colleen Coble came up to me and uh She's like, oh, like I, she was talking to Jody. She's like, okay, I'm going to head out. I turned around and she's like, oh, there's readers still here. I didn't realize I thought it was all authors because now it was authors talking and getting books signed for, from each other. It was really cute. I said, yes, ma'am, I was actually going to come over and see you. Um, but you had a line the entire time. And then, like, my grandma loves you. And I wasn't going to ask her to sign my books because she was leaving. Like, I was bummed that I missed out on the chance. But I wasn't going to put her out. Um... And she's like, well, do you have books for me to sign? I was like, actually, yes, I do. So I had authors signing books at the same time. I got to talk to Colleen Coble for a couple minutes very quickly. Um, my grandma loves her, so I really wanted to let her know that and let her know that she was one of the first. The series that she signed for me was one of the first series that I remember reading um, in Christian fiction other than Tracy Peterson's books. She signed to Love a Stranger which I have not read, but it was a rework, but I got it, so why not have her sign it? Then she signed The Lightkeeper's Daughter for me, which is book one in the Mercy Fall series. Then she signed The Lightkeeper's Bride, which is book two, and The Lightkeeper's Ball, which is book three. And I am so in the need of a reread, but I was so thankful that she signed them for me and stopped and said hello. Again, so down to earth. She kind of intimidated me just a little bit, but she was so down to earth, so sweet. Um, and I wish I would have been able to talk to her a little bit longer, but again, I wasn't going to hold her up. She was doing that. Uh, Miss Jody Headland was signing my books for me, and she is the author of Out of the Storm from the With All My Heart collection. She is the author of An Awakened Heart in the all my tomorrows series and I said last week in my haul that Karen Whitmire has already signed this for me so I figured one day if I ever meet Elizabeth Camden if I can get her to sign this for me that would be so cool because then I'll have all three so she signed this one for me as well. Uncertain Choice which is the first book uh, full length novel in her YA uh, medieval series that she did. At least she signed Unending Devotion which those were the four books that I had by her so she signed them off for me and then we got to talk for a couple minutes. Again, I wish I would have had more time with her. Um, and I wish I would have, like, I, I've read a couple of her books, but not enough to really hold conversations about a lot of the books. Um, that was my problem with a couple of them. I've read some of their books, but not all of them. So I don't have a ton to really say and, like, keep a conversation. So that just pushes me to read more and get out of my comfort zone a little more. Um, but it was such, such an amazing trip. Um, I keep saying um because I, I don't know how to put into words what I felt when I was there. It was so, it was a big crowd, but it was calm. It was collected. The authors were amazing. For my book signing, it was my first book signing ever. It was so amazing. It just flew by and meeting the authors 
it was so encouraging and exactly what I needed. I was so thankful to the authors and I was so thankful to my friend who went with me and carried my bags of books for me as I was and talking about my blog because I wasn't going to say anything that I was a blogger. Um, I didn't want to be like, hey, like, hello, I'm a blogger. But she seamlessly put it in there and just, you know, talking about how proud she is and that opened so many doors and it was just amazing and I was so so thankful for her and so thankful to the authors and so excited that I was able to go. Those were the books that I got signed but then I was able to pick up a couple from the bookstore and I'm going to show those to you now. The Baker Bookhouse is a huge Christian bookstore like I could spend hours upon hours in there um but I didn't have a ton of money and I'm always looking for a deal so I did get a couple um, the first book I talked about was Blind Spot by Danny Petrie, and that was Fleur de Luz, and it's such a cool book, and I can't wait to read it. The next book I got was Lady Jane Disappears by Joanne Davidson Pelotano. I think that might be how it's said. Uh, she was there. Her next book comes out in a couple months, A Rumored Engagement, and again, I didn't have this book yet, so I didn't go up to her because I don't have anything to talk to her about um but I knew I wanted to get it but again by the time I went and got it technically the signing was over and I think she had already left so I missed out on her but and I didn't get a picture with her because I didn't go over there which again I was so bummed out but I'm excited to have a copy of the book and I can't wait to read it because I've heard nothing but good things about it this book I got was The Returning by Rochelle Decker and this is book three in the Seer series or something like that and again it was five dollars can't find this book for this price anywhere I've looked trust me so now I have the complete series and I'm so excited to read it because I'm like in this YA mood I don't even know why the last book that I got was the Saturday Night Supper Club by Carla Loreno I believe Lore Loreno yes um, and this was also $5. This just came out a couple months ago. And again, Baker Book House has amazing deals. So I was able to pick this up for $5 as well. She was This author was not there, but they're always running deals. They had a ton of books on sale. I had deals, but I didn't have money. I totally would have... Thinking back on it, I wish I would have had money um, to get a couple books that were there because they had books on sale from the authors that were there, a couple of them. Um, have gotten a couple and gotten them signed and then put them in giveaways. Like it broke my heart afterwards. But I also didn't have um, money to spare to do it this time. But I will definitely do it next time. Um, I was just kind of like dipping my toes in the water of the book signing world. But oh man, I was so excited. Biggest regret I think was not going up to the other authors and talking to them, the authors I didn't know, because I feel like totally missed out on finding maybe a new favorite or just other genres. And that's one of my goals this year is to branch out and read books that I normally wouldn't read. Like, literally, I got a book from pretty much every genre in this thing. Like, I have the contemporary, I have the YA. I have historical and then I have suspense like I'm proud of myself I'm branching out I'm getting books and I'm reading books from different things but I didn't reach out to them and I'm a little upset with myself but again my first book signing I was just so excited to meet the authors that I knew and get my book signed but for sure next time I know what to do a little differently um, it was just an amazing time. I had so much fun. I met so many readers. It was just the greatest atmosphere to be in. And I just want to thank Baker Bookhouse for putting this on Fiction Reader Summit, for doing this and letting the public come in and meet these authors. I want to thank the authors for writing, but talking to us and getting excited with us. It was so amazing. Um, and I want to thank my friend for taking me and going with me and carrying my books around because I had bags of them. I got a bunch of, I got some pins and bookmarks and some goodies that I was very excited about. And overall it was just an amazing time. Um, 
if you went, I hope you had an amazing time. If you didn't, next year, um, or a book signing near you, maybe they're on the west or east coast. Um, I also got to meet a lovely, lovely author from Instagram. Her name is Natalie, and we got to talk for a couple minutes and meet, and then I met a couple people from Facebook, and that was really cool. It was just cool to meet people that you, like, you know them, but you don't really know them, and then you can finally put a face to them. It was just... It was a really neat experience and I was just very excited and so thankful and thrilled that I could have, that I was able to make it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, it's a little different but I wanted to kind of tell all about it. Um, it was so, so amazing and I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about my first signing. Um, if you weren't able to go next year or maybe check for local signings around you, or if you can, I believe they're hosting it again next year. I really hope they are because hopefully I'll be able to go to the whole thing. I don't know. We'll see what rolls around. You can follow my blog for the love of Christian fiction .com, where I blog every Friday. And you can also check out my Instagram for the love of Christian fiction where I am posting pretty regularly and I'm there all the time. Active. All the time. All my other links are in the description box below. And I think that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.